Hi! From this video tutorial, you'll learn how to add a contact form to the page built with Elementor using JetElements module and style it up. First of all, let's check if you have both Contact Form 7 plugin and JetElements add-on for Elementor installed and active. Please log in to WordPress dashboard and navigate to Plugins Installed Plugins tab. Well, the plugins are installed and activated on your site. Let's assume that we have a contact form built, but we need to embed it to the page built with Elementor. To do it, we need to go to Pages – All Pages, select the page and click Edit with Elementor option. We are going to add a contact form at the bottom of the page, so let's scroll the page down and add a new section. I select one column structure for it. Then I need to style its appearance. Let's click the section settings and open the style tab. Then select classic background type and choose an image from the media library or upload one from your hard drive. Next, let's switch to advanced section settings and apply custom part into it. Alright, let's drag and drop content form JetElements content module to the section area. In the Content tab, you can select one of the existing contact forms from the drop-down list. I have previously created a contact form using Contact Form 7 plugin, and now I'm going to add it to the page. Ok, here it is. As you can see, it looks not at all like it should, so we need to style its appearance. Let's go to Style tab. The Style tab contains all kinds of customization settings, which can help you make the contact form look really majestic. We'll begin with styling up form texts in order to make them more readable. I click Color option and select the needed color using Color Picker. Then I'm going to change the text's typography, so I enable Typography option and now I can see the additional settings. Here I select the needed font size and font family. I change the font weight and uh, for now that's all for the form texts. I'm also going to customize the not valid notices. Let's select the color of the notice and change the font typography. Here I change the font size and apply my custom margin values to this block. Then I set left alignment. In Controls block, I change the background color in Normal mode. Then I'm going to change the color of the placeholder text. Another step is to change the padding. I unlink the padding values and input the needed values in pixels in the corresponding fields. I also want to change the margin values. You can do it the same way. Then I select the solid border type and input my custom border width. I also change the border color to the one I need and then apply a box shadow option. After that I change the shadow color and its transparency and change the shadow spread according to my needs. I select the shadow position inset to apply the shadow inside the fields. Now let's customize the submit button. I change its color in the normal mode and enable its typography options for the button texts. Here I change the font size, font family, font weight and padding values. I also want to set the custom body radius to make the button angles more smooth. The border type will be solid. Now let's return to button customization and change the button settings on hover. Here I change the button color and the button text color using Color Picker tool. The last step is customizing alert style. Here I change the alert typography options, such as font size, apply the custom border radius for the alert box and change the alert colors. Ok, our new contact form is ready, and now we can add a heading module just above it to create a heading that will engage the visitors to use it. I drop the heading module to the section and change the default text in its content field to my new one. Then I change the heading text alignment and change the heading text color in style settings. I'm also going to change the heading text typography to the one matching my contact form. 
That's all. Let's save the changes and navigate to the new page to see the results. Here is our new contact form added to the page using Contact Form 7 Jet Elements module. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.